Morning everyone. We're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, Camilla is helping me film. We have a leg of bush pig here in the pot. I uh, brushed it with um, some balsamic vinegar. And uh, I've just browned it in some olive oil in a nice uh, cross line pot. And uh, one nice thing about bush pig is it does, doesn't go dry. So uh, you don't need a lot of liquid with it. And you can, you know, you can cook it for a long time. The secret is to cook it a long time until it's soft and uh, it stays moist. Obviously, your shoulder is better, but uh, today we have a back leg. It, um, it's about the same. Um, another secret with the bush pig I found is, is not to have too young an animal. I like a mature female and she must have a bit of fat on her. Because if they have a bit of fat on her, they cook better. The fat is good to eat. You can eat it. And uh, it just stays a lot more moist. I find the, the younger pigs without fat, I don't know, they don't cook nicely as a, a mature pig. Okay, so let me just show you what I have here. I'm gonna, normally I put some sherry in, but uh, I've just got some ordinary beef stock just to give a bit of a liquid. Um, half a cup of sherry and a bit of beef stock is, is better, but I don't have any alcohol. We're not allowed to buy now with the uh, lockdown. Then um, I've got a couple of onions here, just just one onion is enough, just to add some flavour. Put that heat on it a little bit. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, little bit of teriyaki, just a drizzle, just to give it some flavour. That's teriyaki sauce, and a little bit of uh, soya, not too much. Okay, and then um, I've got some hollow spices here in a bowl. You can use anything. There's um, salt, pepper, a bit of my spices I use from day to day. It doesn't matter what you use. I'm just going to put that on. Rub it on all over. Okay, and then... Uh, a nice compliment to a bush pig is fresh ginger. I didn't have enough fresh ginger, so I've used some pickled ginger, but uh, a lot of ginger. So I've also got some garlic here too. I'm going to put rub on. But uh, fresh ginger goes very well with bush pig. You don't have to be shy. There's quite a lot here. You just put it all over the top, like that. Garlic and the ginger. And then I've got a bit of Italian parsley here. Just put, chuck that in just to give it a bit of a flavor. And uh, then one thing that works very well is, is a preserve. So you can have, doesn't matter what it is, it can be plum, it can be peach preserve. We normally like to use quince, but we don't have quince at the moment. Um, that's the best to cook game with. But any 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 jam and just put generous helping here on top all over the top Just adds a little bit of Sweetness to the dish You just put that all over there on top of the ginger and the garlic Cover it nice and up and Then uh, I've preheated pre the oven to 150 degrees Celsius and uh, we'll cook this baby for about three to four hours till it's soft. And yeah, then I'll show you once it's done. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this, uh, the pig's been in the oven for about four hours. We're going to open it up. As you can see, I put tin foil also just uh, to seal it better. So it holds its moisture. So let's uh, have a look. Oh, look at that. And uh, it should be soft. Cody, what do you say? Whoa, look at that. It's soft. I don't know. You can almost pull it off the bone. Look Ooh, at that. That's. Mm. Wow. Should wow. we taste it, Cody? Give, give me. Huh? You want to taste it? Oh, it's hot. Okay, look at me. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Give me the so, fork. 
What you can do now is if you wanted to, you could take it uh, off the bone and uh, lay it back in the sauce. And then uh, if you really wanted, you could add some cream and uh, put it back in the oven for about half an hour and then serve it like that, sliced up. Or you can just slice it up now, but you can see it's pretty soft. Um, yeah, so chef. thanks. Enjoy. Good chef. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay. Bye, Bye. everyone. Bye.